Hey everybody, in this video, we're gonna learn how to install OpenTelemetry on a Kubernetes cluster. Now, let me zoom in here a bit, and just to confirm this Kubernetes cluster will run kubectl get nodes. And as you can see, I'm running Kubernetes version 1.26. This is bootstrapped with kubeadm onto Ubuntu boxes. So there are two ways that we can install OpenTelemetry. Now from a quick non-production way, we can install it via the Kubernetes manifest. So if I just paste that in here, you can see the location here, and this is just installing the operator on the Kubernetes cluster. So if I go ahead and if I run that, we can see a bunch of things get created, any cluster roles, cluster role bindings, pretty much anything RBAC related that's needed, including any service accounts, services, pods, et cetera. So if I run kubectl get pods, we can see that this is right here, this is getting created. And then if I run kubectl get namespaces, open telemetry one right here, so we can run kubectl get all namespace, right? And then we can see all the different resources that are created for the open telemetry installation. One thing to point out really quick, to actually get this working properly, a prerequisite is the cert manager operator. And what the cert manager operator does is it essentially gives you an operator or an, a declarative way in a sense in Kubernetes to create certs, renew them, et cetera. It's all kind of done for you in an automatic fashion and it is needed for the open telemetry installation. And to do that, pretty straightforward, just pop this open here and you can see it's a quick kubectl apply for the cert manager operator. I believe there's also a helm chart for it as well. So you should be able to do it that way too. Now, speaking of Helm, from a production perspective, we would want to install OpenTelemetry using a package manager like Helm. That way we can manage versions and all that in a much easier fashion. So it is more production ready. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna delete this installation of OpenTelemetry. And then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna install the Helm chart. And to do that, we will just need to add the Helm chart. So I'll go ahead and I'll add the Helm chart right here. Looks like it already exists. That's because I was doing this previously. <laughs> so yours is probably gonna look a little bit different. Next, I'll update the repo and I will install the Helm chart. I'm gonna install this in the default namespace. All right, and as we can see, that was generated successfully. If I just run kubectl get pods, we can see that the controller is actually running now. This is a little bit different than what we saw previously. And then we can do a Helm list and we can see that the package is installed. Now, I do just want to point something out here. It is on version 0.66. From what I've seen from a research perspective, it looks like the Helm chart isn't exactly at a beta, but from a production perspective, this is probably the best way to install it as of right now. And that's how you can get OpenTelemetry installed on a Kubernetes cluster. Thank you so much for watching.